Okay, so I'm only a few hours from my trip that's going to take me here from Cleveland, Ohio, over to Amsterdam. I'll be stopping in Washington for a, like a one hour layover and uh, couldn't leave Cleveland without making good on my, on my bet that I made to this guy here, my dad, who uh, he beat me in chess four games to two. Right. Right. You got how's your, how's you your got, confidence no, no, level? My confidence level? Yeah, how is it? He wants to know how my confidence level is. After losing four games to two in chess, it's not that good. <laughs> You're sending me off to Europe yeah. with a confidence level of about four. Oh, that's not very high. No, it's no. not. You know, and, and speaking of confidence level, I should probably take a moment and, and elaborate on this whole confidence level thing. When I was a kid, I used to come home, and if I'd come home with a date, my dad here would always tell the date about Tommy's imaginary balloons. Right. right? My imaginary balloons. Right. Why don't you tell them, you know, about my imaginary balloons? Well, the imaginary balloons, if if someone pinches his balloon, his arm falls and he hurts himself. Yeah. So you got to be careful. Yeah. Most most people have an imaginary balloon. Two of them. Yeah, two of them. So you got to be careful. Don't pinch their balloon because you don't want them to get hurt, okay? Yeah, when I was younger, I never knew what the heck he was talking about, these imaginary balloons. And as I got older and I started to realize how important confidence is in a, in a person's life, then it came to dawn on me because what he, would, what he was implying was that everybody carries an imaginary balloon under their arms and they walk around all confident like this. Right. And when somebody pinches that balloon, it lets a little air out. And if they get pinched too often, they walk around kind of like, <laughs> you laugh. I just yeah, laugh. right. Okay. This is right. But anyway, so uh, I bought him his lunch. I made good on the bed for playing chess. And uh, now we're going to go to the airport. And you know, I couldn't, uh, as far back as I can remember, way, way, way back, when I was in the military, Anytime I would fly in and out of Cleveland, this guy was always the one to take me to the airport. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always the one to take me to the airport. And, and when they used to let visitors go beyond the security point to the gate, I can remember taxiing out of the plane, and I could have been on sitting on the plane for 30, 45 minutes sometimes with flight delays, and you look out that window, and there he was, always standing in the window doing this. You know, he didn't even know if if you were looking at him or not, you know, but uh, he, he always looked and there he was waving out. So anyway, I couldn't think of a, uh, I couldn't possibly think of departing today for Europe and this summer journey that I'm going to be taking without having you go to the airport with me. Yeah, I'm glad I could go. Okay. Yeah. So all's good now. I got you your, I got you your lunch. Right. And the next time we play chess, it'll be in California. It'll be another lunch. And it'll be another story. <laughs> All right, yeah, so but I never lose a game. You lost two here in San Francisco. Oh, Lasso. I forgot about that, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to uh, finish our lunch here, and we're going to get to the airport, and I'm going to get on over to Amsterdam. Okay, very. All right, as the saying goes, it's a great day to fly. It's uh, beautiful, not, not a cloud in the sky, and uh, temperatures in the, oh, probably the mid-70s, I would guess. Yeah. And... Uh, we are just uh, pulling into Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Got to get in and, and weigh my bags. That's the big thing is, is to weigh the bag, the, the check-in bag. I got 50 pounds that I can put in there. So I'm going to weigh the bag. Um, you know, I, I spent the morning getting ready. I, I made sure that all my electronic stuff was charged up for the uh, flight over there to, to Europe. Um, I got my, I, not my iPad, my Samsung tablet charged up. I downloaded a couple good books. Got my iPod all set up. I've got some uh, podcast on there, several hours worth. Um, so I'm all set. I'm ready for a uh, hopefully what's going to be a nice flight over to uh, to Amsterdam. Okay, so the big moment has arrived, and that is weighing my check-in bag. I've got 50 pounds, and as you can see, this is my luggage here. I've got my one personal item. This is my check-in. Here's my carry-on. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to put this on the scale. Let's see what it weighs. 
I always get here early so I can uh, check this out. 43 pounds, life is good. 43 and a half pounds, that means I can just really stuff that puppy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move some stuff around. I'm gonna add some weight to that check-in bag, lighten my load, carrying it on, and we're en route to Amsterdam. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, flight time, I guess. I was gonna say show time, but uh, look at that. The big 5-0. So I got that right on there. I put in a little fish oil on that. I had it at 49.5 and I took my little thing of fish oil that the doctor wants me to take for my heart. And we're sitting right at 50. So sitting pretty at 50. I've got my nice little carry-on bag. That, that's my personal item. And then I've got my uh, carry-on. Yeah, I got my carry-on. They said that it can weigh as much as I want it to weigh. So, with that, there's just two things left to do. Check in and say goodbye to my dad. So, we'll do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is goodbye. Oh, okay. Huh? Good, luck. Good luck to you in Europe. Yes. Say hi to Lorena. I will. And Build your confidence level up, okay? I will, and I love you. I love you. Thank you for bringing me to the airport. Okay. No problem. Okay. Everything is good. Okay. okay. Have a nice flight. Thank okay. you. Take care. Yes. See you later. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you. 